Well, I would tell him to be sure he gets his 12-point marriage inspection done regularly. I mean, just as he would inspect his car to make sure that it's running properly, he should equally inspect the levels in his marriage to make sure that everything is running properly there as well. The first point that he'll want to check is his communication levels. Does she feel like she can talk with you? Does she feel like you're listening to her when she speaks? Communication builds trust for her. When you're communicating your plans and your ideas and your opinions before you actually act on them, then she begins to feel like she can trust you. The second point is your romance levels. Sadly, many men cripple their marriages by limiting this point to only having intercourse. You see, she interprets romance as being sensitive to her needs. The third point to check is the intimacy level. This is a simple, non-suggestive touch of affection that she interprets as being appreciative of the many things that she does for her family. The fourth point is friendship levels. Every husband needs to check the friendship levels in his marriage. You must never forget that it is a privilege, I mean an absolute privilege, to be a part of her world. Then next, the fifth point would be your support levels. Are you supporting her goals and her dreams in a way that she needs it the most, in a way that she feels that you're supporting her? Do you understand those areas that she's unsecure about and support her in her plan to gain the confidence that she so desperately needs? Point number six is dating levels. Never, ever stop dating your wife. She finds great confidence and security in the thought of you still being irresistibly attracted to her. The seventh point to check is commitment levels. Express your total commitment to her through words and actions. She could have full confidence, she, or rather she should have full confidence that you're not going to ever leave her and that she's not in this relationship alone. Point number eight, I would say, would be your hero levels. You have to check your hero levels. Are you still that hero to her? Or is she looking outside of the marriage, outside of the relationship to friends and family, relatives, co-workers, a father, a brother, to make her feel safe and taken care of? You should always make sure that you keep doing those little things like cutting the grass, taking out the garbage, getting her oil changed. These are things that make her feel taken care of. Don't overlook her moments of distress as her being a helpless dependent. What she's doing is she's trying to give you an opportunity to come in and rescue her. Point number nine is humility levels. Never get caught in a position where you're being that controlling and, and domineering husband. Rather, you should be patient and humble, including her in your decisions and your plans. The tenth point is your leadership levels. And by this I mean, do you have a clear and defined vision for your family that your wife is comfortable with and proud of? Do you have clear and constructive values that you will never compromise? Point number eleven is sensitivity levels. Pay very close attention to her and her needs. Learn when she's hurt. Learn when she's disappointed or uncomfortable. Learn when she's uneasy or upset. Or Learn when she's happy or not feeling like herself. All of these things you need to be paying attention to. And then learn what she needs from you. What is she looking for from you in those moments? And then finally, it's up to you to deliver. And I would say that the twelfth and the final point to this check is your appreciation level and this is so crucial and so critical in many marriages I've seen where the appreciation levels are not where they should be. You should be overly voiceful in this area. Have no reservations or hesitations whatsoever when it comes to vocalizing just how much you appreciate her and all of the things that she does for her family. It's my opinion.